three. What is up, YouTube? We, we are, are back, back with another video. Yeah. And as you guys can see by the title of today, we are doing another girl talk. I believe it's girl talk number two, three, three, two, two, three, two, two, three, three, two. <laughs> One of them. So, can y'all please introduce your beautiful self? Hi, I am known as Naida Ellie or Greenski on all socials. And I am Janae or Purple Ski official on and TikTok. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but okay, so today we have some questions that my supporters wanted us to answer for them for this girl talk today. So y'all make sure y'all show some love to our special guest. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to share this video with a friend. Also comment down more videos that you guys want to see me do with the Huskies, right? Yeah, yep. the Huskies. So let's get it. Let's get it going. 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 I'm ready. I love doing like talks. I love. I feel. I honestly feel like I'm like Dr. Phil sometimes. You know what I mean? When it comes to advice, I'd be like, yeah, I'm really, I'm really finna spit. You like that? Yes. All right. Well, since you said you got some good advice, stuff like that. Yes. Stuff like that. Oh my God. There's a bee around your camera. Oh. I'll run. I will run too. Bro. Okay, so what first of all, before we get into them, both of y'all are scared of bugs. Yes. But how it's scared? Because like, I'm girl, scared like I will walk these. away right now. I <laughs> That's how scared run. I am. I'm trying to figure out which way y'all gonna run first. The pole right here. <laughs> you y'all gonna run. I'll be gone. Okay. I'm stuck. So I yeah. cannot and hit it. Okay, because yeah. if you want a double team, we can jump in. Right? <laughs> yeah. Uh -uh. Yeah, really yes. got through that. Okay. So the first question is how to know red flags. So I guess we can start. Um, how to know red flags. Honestly, for me, if something I don't like, that's a red flag. That's, mm -hmm. that's just it. If you feel like it's something that you're not willing to go through for years of your life, because well, a relationship is supposed to be building towards something more. A relationship not really supposed to be for, uh, just for some, a, a small amount of time or something like that you're supposed to be trying to work for marriage for a future and if it's anything you don't feel like you can deal with forever that's a red flag um a red flag for me would be um wearing black your breath stains your teeth yellow throat your mama can't cook your daddy not around you got 16 other siblings on the sky's too dark, the grass not green on the other you. side, the what orange the trees fuck? is turning to orange green, you don't smoke <laughs> weed, you don't drink, you do crack, you do nicotine. Stop doing nicotine. Stop. I don't ever nicotine. do nicotine, I swear. Do I do do I smoke? No. I don't smoke. No. I don't smoke. But I don't got, do like, four locos. I got ten siblings. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't do four locos, but I got ten siblings. I wear black all the time. <laughs> So you just a red she flag, just, She huh. just puts a red flag emoji over you the whole fucking video. Yep, you're done. You're cut out. I'm done. You're I'm cut done. out. It's but you're a girl though, so you're good. Oh yeah. You're a girl though, so you're good. Uh, I got a, a, a pass on this one. Okay. For today. For today. Just for today. Just for today. Yeah, I'll but see y'all. Let me stop y'all, let me stop. But personally, I feel like if a male intentions aren't true, genuine, and pure, he's just a red flag. Like you're just a walking red flag. If you ask for sex after the first date, red flag. If your breath really do stink, that's a red flag because you obviously don't care. If your poo poo smell like a female's coochie, then you're you're a red flag. Girl, what? why is your why is your why is your wee wee pH oh. balance off like a female's? Like that's so nasty. And I heard it before too. So, ooh, that's possible. She said, ooh. So I've never heard of it. <laughs> I feel like one of the biggest red flags for me for sure and this goes like to out to like any girl that starts talking to a guy if if like even if in person it's fun and y'all have a good time the second you get back home they do not text you like that that's a red flag that man do not want you girl that man does not want to be with you that man don't care about you because you'll know when a guy likes you he's gonna like put in work but if if the second you get back home that energy not the same that man do not want you. That's a red flag. You better run for the hills. It's over. It's over. So, since you say, like, dude, you gotta be clingy, you gotta be clingy, how do y'all feel about being attached? I, I want my it. nigga in my skin. 
and I don't out, care. How to do In, out, round, everywhere. I don't need my nigga to be away from me for more than two days. If it's that long, then I'm gonna feel like you don't like me no more. Dang. And yeah, come, come. How you feel about that? Um. I never had the clinginess towards me. <laughs> the only thing that's clingy is my daughter. Like, she's the clingiest thing in the world. And it's like, I do love her, but back up. You know, just back up just a little bit. But you know, I will love a man that suck my toes, that wouldn't be in my skin, you know, to wear the same clothes as me. Like, let's go shopping together and all that. Like, it'll be cute, but we just gotta, we gotta just manage how clingy and attached we are to each other. Not no soul ties, but like, you know. You know, we work it out. I feel like for me, attachment sucks because I'm always the one to attach myself some to somebody more than they will ever attach themselves to me. Mm -hmm. But I feel like an attachment. Wait, so what was the question? Being attached. Being attached. I feel like if you be attached with anybody, it should be like you should still accept them for being a human being. Like, because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, whether you like it or not, they're still their own person, right. and they're not you, and you are not them. You guys are two completely separate people. So if you cannot accept the fact that they're going to find somebody else attractive, just like you do, that they're going to walk around and have these thoughts just like every imperfect human being does, if you cannot accept that, then you're truly never going to attach yourself to somebody. Like, an attachment to me should be like you accepting the fact that you are choosing to compromise with a completely different person and working on that together. You know, have your boundaries, but accept because i feel like right now and this generation is so toxic it's like don't even look at her like like do you think she's pretty like that's toxic as fuck and that's i'm insecure. not going lie. that's insecure that's Man, like my not nigga, i be trying to tell him but he don't do it i be like look at that ass yeah he don't like, yeah, try to look. at least shows that he respects you even if you give him permission he still respects you it's right. not okay at first i'm not gonna lie in my more toxic stages i felt like you just trying not to look right now but I know if I was around, you spinning your neck in a 360 circle to see that ass. So if I'm let, I'm telling you, look at that ass, then look at that ass. Like, I know it should be something, it anyway. but you know, it's like you don't force it. But like, if it yeah. happens, if you just so happen to see a girl's ass and be like, wow, yeah. and you see your man do it, then you don't be like, what the fuck? Like, you just in that moment, you gotta be like, well, damn, yeah. she do got a big she ass. She got a big yeah. ass. Okay, so if I was and to just, see But him, my ass can get fatter though. Right. My yeah. ass can help me. Help me make it Yeah. Help help me. You know what I mean? Like, huh, just yeah. when, you, when you think about looking at someone else's ass, just think about mine. You know, right. how big and voluptuous. Or just think about that ass just looks good. But if you was to fuck that ass or like, you know what I mean? Like, I, you, you about to see what I'm getting. If you was to do something with that person just because they look good, it's just going to be like 10, 10 minutes of good. And then you don't even know who the girl is. No, no, none of that. So it's like, that's where you got to be secure within yourself. Like, he's just looking because it looks good. He is not in love with that ass. He's in love with my ass. Right. Type shit. Type shit. I don't even be thinking about it like that. I more so be thinking about it like, okay, you gonna look at her. You wanna be, you wanna fuck around with her. Okay, you get all the niggas that she done fucked with, all them soul ties that, that, that she got. <laughs> no, just cause she got that big booty, but that, that, that nasty personality, that nasty mindset, and she not a good person, but that body fine. It don't matter. You take all that what she had and you yeah. live it up with that. While I'm sitting over here in my peace, Getting over, getting over the heartbreak from you, yeah. you gonna be fighting them demons that she gave you. Mm -hmm. So that's your love. That's true. Mm -hmm. too. But yeah, pretty face and a big butt is the worst. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's the worst until I get mine. Yeah. Because when I get my BBL, don't say that to me. Yeah, mine's fake, so it don't got no much uh, trauma in it. Yeah. <laughs> So let's talk about relationships. Mm -hmm. So what are do's and don'ts, I would say, in a first starting off in a relationship? Mm -hmm. like, what do's and don'ts? Yeah. Because I don't know, I've never been in one. Well, let me know so I like when I get a man, like what do I want to do? You want to go, Jenny? Um. Yeah, you got a man. <laughs> She's like, when you did the goofy laugh earlier, I was dying. She said, <laughs> 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 like, what the fuck? Bro, you know, um, bro, he, when I'm you just burst, watching him right now, I'm so sorry. I know, he's killing that shit. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, he just went through the logo. That's when the time stopped. 
some stuff right there. I want to go over there and see if I can work the, the pole. Oh my god. What the hell? <laughs> but I know my skin coming straight off because it's just so hot over yeah, there. Yeah. And the but sun and the reflection. One day. One day. Yeah, see, I love that. Anyways, back to it. Back to it. Yeah. Back to it. Distracted. No, what was the question? Um, Relationship. Do's and don'ts in a relationship. In a first time relationship. First time relationship. Yes. I feel like, um, do make sure that you establish what the other person don't like in a relationship or what the other person can't tolerate and you align it with the way that your life is living the way that you live in your life and if it seemed like it don't match up or it seemed like you're not willing to um compromise to what he don't like then right there cut it off because the longer that you let it go and the longer that you build the feelings and the longer that you in the relationship with the person then it's gonna be harder to walk away and later on down the line you're like god damn i ain't know i was gonna be all that right. when in the beginning if you would have just had to talk with them about it then you could have decided what you wanted to do and they could have decided if they wanted to be with you too mm -hmm. that's the biggest thing i feel like most people be missing in these kind of relationships they be getting mad that um that he cheating on you but he cheated on his last five people but you would have knew that if you would have had that first that talk with him right yeah. yeah. and that kind of thing that's true right that's um, okay. i say like do lay out boundaries especially when it comes to like female friends and male friends like just lay out boundaries so your girlfriend or your uh your boyfriend can feel more secure and trusting you and stuff like that yeah mm -hmm. yeah i feel like uh do's and a don't so a do i feel like definitely being authentic like and accepting because if you because i feel like a lot of the times so many like boys men are immature mm -hmm. like they're not authentic they act a certain way but their intentions behind the, their actions don't match and so like if you're authentic just like she's saying if like you just come up front honest like hey because i feel like sometimes in the beginning a guy will like make it seem like they like you but in reality they're in their head and they sabotage themselves like damn i am attracted to you but I don't really like you because of this, this, and that. Like, if you're authentic from the jump, then you can build a relationship with somebody. It's about being upfront and honest. honest. And like, uh, a, was that was a do. A don't, uh, what's a don't in a relationship? I feel like a eat don't. Eat the young person. <laughs> huh? Hmm? Don't eat that. <laughs> <laughs> I said, huh? She said, hmm? Huh? A don't, I feel like, again with the thing don't lie like don't lie yeah because when you lie start you're, off living, lying especially. you're living you're now creating a relationship off of lies then you got now back them you, lies up exactly you got to remember your lie because later down the line you're gonna forget you're gonna what the forget. fuck you just lied about and then like what the, then i remember you told me this and then you like what and that's then what they I'm remember saying. you lying and then it's not even worth it and it's don't not even because you will catch feelings even though you lie and then now you got to get over them feelings because you just wanted to lie like just be honest mm -hmm. and then you can catch somebody like me and you lie to me and i punch you in your face and then you be looking oh. stupid with a black eye and it could have all been avoided if you just would have never lied you're so aggressive, I like it. <laughs> you want to punch me in my eye? <laughs> okay, yeah, we can make up later. Oh, oh, oh. 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 <laughs> Y'all on, on some other shit right now. Sorry, I'm I just right. like the way she's uh, so aggressive. Okay. okay. Yeah. Y'all, <laughs> I can choke you up the wall later. <laughs> Girl, damn. I like that. <laughs> All right, y'all. All right. Anyway, let's get back. Um, do y'all have a topic that y'all would like to talk about? Um, let me. Yeah, quick intermission. Uh, commercial break. Uh, and um, are we still talking about relationships? Talk about anything. Talk about anything. Um. Okay, I got a question. So let's say we we out, right? And you know how when you go out to like Ebor, you go downtown, and it's guys, you know, trying to talk to you. The ones be standing on the wall. What do you? What would like you know? What is your deciding Ooh. factor of if you gonna talk to them or not? Like if I'm interested. Oh, what I'm makes you want to go up to a guy that actually no? Talk let's to say like if they. 
Hey there, little lady. Uh, I just want to cut in and say, do not mind us sweating. Um, because we are sitting in the sun directly. I blame Janae. Um, yeah, so do not get on me about that sweating. We are in Florida right now, and it's hot as pickles. Thank you. So we talking about Hoochie Daddy trying to talk to us on the street, <laughs> basically. But it will be at the point like, um, it's the way you present yourself when you come up to me. Like, if you talk to me on some gentleman stuff, I love me a gentleman, but you gotta talk to me real seductively, like smooth. Not like sexually, but you just gotta be like smooth. That's gonna really get my ears like turning because it's like you got some game, like me, you know, big mama. I'm crying. Yeah, I feel like with you, you gotta find somebody that match your energy. You don't want no, no real soft, no real calm, no real shy kind of nigga because you like shy at night when it's time to go to sleep. <laughs> no, nah. you gotta be wild. Yeah, no, at night is when they're supposed to when be wild. Freaks, that's when the freaks come out. So if he, yeah, but it's like be a freak for one person. Like it's so unattractive to see a boy try to talk to me yeah, and, and talk then to talk my home to, girl yeah. or talk to another girl. Like ew, that is so that is so attractive when like when you meet a guy that like knows who like what he wants. Yeah, like you know what I mean. Like okay, so. Even in the past, when I was, I don't even want to say it because the thing is, they don't know who the fuck I'm talking about. But like, I like it when a guy, I like it when a guy is like around his girl and around other attractive girls, but still only flirt with his girl right, the whole yeah. time. Like he know and he keep it like how he do. Even when y'all just, it's just y'all. He treats you the same way around other girls. That is so attractive. Yeah, that got my that makes you. me wanna. I like that. I ain't never that had that type of so attractive. Bring it to the table. Bring it to the table. Uh, but you, but your question was like, what, like, what, what you daddy makes trying to talk to you? Man? What, what like, what? You talk to okay, me? like, let's say somebody came up to you right now and asked for your number. What is your deciding factor whether you gonna give it to them or not? Like, is it solely based off of looks? Is it based off of how they how they walked up to you? Is it based on like what is it based off of? I feel like I feel like. I've changed a little bit like back then it would have definitely been because of looks like if you don't look good I'm not gonna take your number but now it's like I'm probably just I'm probably just not gonna give you my number and I'll probably just give you my Instagram or some shit because I feel like a number is too important person yeah. and then I'll probably give you my Instagram and see where it goes from there like see your intentions from there type shit and it's like once they see you real fine they be trying like they just do too much and it's like you females like when you're in tune with yourself you can read through niggas i mean males you can just see them like glass you can just see right through them like okay i see what you yeah see we already know what the fuck you want yeah you ain't bringing nothing to the table so we go through it literally 24 freaking 7 10 different niggas just like you done already told me what you just said to me you don't think that i know what you're trying to do right now like come on now and and one thing to the niggas if a girl asks y'all or if a girl tell y'all they're not trying to do nothing with y'all and if y'all want to be with them just because of that then y'all don't have to be with them and you text them for one more day and then stop talking to them it's the same thing right so just be for real from the start because not everybody is looking to have sex and just because you want to have sex with somebody because they look good don't mean somebody trying to take your nasty dirty energy because from your little peen peen and gone by their business taking on your energy just because you wanted to hunch and you done hunch rebecca sarah and tana and tisha and and kareen and all of them they want his baby mama Probably walking around you like STD. <laughs> yeah, walking around STD. That's what I'm saying. So I'm I'm the anti boy because I got my my little. <laughs> so y'all have fun starting over with. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Yeah, I don't think I can start over. And it's like when you're ready for a relationship, you'll know when you're. I mean, no one's ready. But it's like you'll know when you're able to at least be at that point in life where you're, you want to start over. Yeah. Like a fresh start. That's stuff true. like that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah. Yep. What's another question, y'all? Got some more. Um, the front or the back? Ah, the front. The front. <laughs> the back, maybe. Let me, back. okay, can I just say this? Like, mm -hmm. so I feel like it definitely feels better inserted <laughs> from the front, right? <laughs> like, insertion in the back. Wait, wait a minute. Painful. What are you talking about? What are y'all talking about? What are you talking about? Oh, never mind. I'm sorry. I'm 
I'm like, do y'all wipe kidding. from the front or the back? Oh, you got those to the front. See, it was a Wait. trick question. I thought you were saying it was a trick like, question. Do you like it was um, a trick sex question. from the front or it was a trick question. question? I thought you was asking me, do I like? Get How about we just talk about both? Demolish we'll talk about wiping and we'll talk about fucking. Okay, or, so I wipe from the front and the back, but I used to cut it in half. I used to wipe from the front, and then I take my way and I wipe from the back. That's how I it do depends, it now. If, it depends what I'm doing. But now I know how to actually put my hand all I'm, the way like this. Yeah, that's what. If I'm just um, if I'm just peeing, then I'm gonna do all like that. But it ain't no chance of me finna get no booty crust on my fingers from doing still, the back. Let me tell I you. I still try to do it. Like, yeah, I'll be it doing depends. it. I'll be doing oh, it like what you practice. said, half and half. Yeah. Like, I'll do the front <laughs> first, know, and then I'll do the back. Like, I'll yeah. do the front first, then I'll go and do the back. Because I don't, I don't be feeling to be like... <laughs> From the front, I never like, understood right. what they meant by that, and just you just go like yeah, that. You just do the front first, yeah. like that, and then you do the. Back. Or sometimes Maybe I'll do the back, things. and then I'll do the whole. Oh, okay. Yeah. Enough, I took a boom boom pal. That's know? what I'm talking about. When you was, I, oh, we just talking about peeing. I mean, using the bathroom in general, you know. Oh, okay, because if it's the, the if it's the, mm, 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 and I got to make sure. Okay, how many times do y'all go through with the toilet paper? Oh, sometimes, well, it depends, it depends on who bathroom I'm using. If they have wipes, too, I'll use both. Yeah, okay, because I'll I, I'm, I be using it. Fuck, I some toilet paper. I do it three, four different times. It depends on how long I was on the toilet. Yeah, yeah, it depends like, on, like, the the impact of the pee. <laughs> like, how widespread. Because you know how you have a straight pee, but then sometimes yeah, you have, sometimes like, a straight Yeah, yeah. yeah. it depends on, <laughs> on which type of pee or which type of, you know, shit yeah. you take. Yeah. Um, okay, now for the next topic. Oh yeah, the, okay, the the front or back, sex wise. But yeah, we talking about we talking about we're talking about sex, girl. We talking we're not talking about position, right? We talking about insertion. Yeah, like yeah, we're talking about oh. like the feeling of it, right? We talking sure. about. Wait, wait, yeah. are you talking about position? No, I'm talking about the feeling of it. Like, do you prefer it in the front or do you prefer it in the back? Oh, your butt. Yes. Oh. That's what we're talking about. That's what I thought she was talking about. That's what I thought she was talking about too. That was you so dirty like it. I said, oh. right. No, look, 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 look. Cause no, cause I'm gonna be super that up front. Is nasty. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. It feels better in the front for sure. Like I don't like anything being stuck in the back. It doesn't feel good. It feels like like a reverse I like, shit. I feel Ooh. like. Because you know I said that before. I didn't. We, we had this talk already. Talk. No, it it really it it depends. Okay, if you 100 percent, 1,000 percent relaxed, you start off with the finger, right? You start off with the finger and then you slowly work your way up. You don't got no lubrication. To it. Where's the lube? Yeah. Okay, of just making sure you just got. Oh, you're not finna cut my motherfucking asshole up trying to do all of that. No, we we starting off slow and then we gonna work our way up into it and then. But I, it has to be. It can't be for a, a long time. It has to be you. You close to. Yeah. Okay. I, five, ten. Okay, but twenty. You see, you have you heard like bitches be saying, "Oh yeah, I was fucking for hours." Are you not gonna do that to stretch my fucking asshole? Out? Yeah, no. that's I not see what's somebody. happening. Really? Yeah, it was on Instagram. They put like a whole whipped cream. No, did y'all see? Um, who was his name? Who was his name? Salento. Have y'all seen how it was a picture flowing, going around of him? He had took it from like this angle of his butt, and I swear it's like if you stick your fist up that thing. His butt? Yes. Why? And he took it. He He's took it at this angle with his face in it. Why the fuck he would do that? Yeah. I think he was going crazy because he did end up killing his cousin and going to jail. Oh, oh, y'all no. ain't see that Salento in jail right now for killing his cousin? No, no. girl, I'm not. I'm not on that side of the fucking whatever yeah. that is. Mm. This was like three, four months ago. Oh, yeah. Wow. Don't do drugs, kid. Yeah. yeah. Don't do drugs. Don't drink Stay while out, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> don't do none of that shit. Stay away from no. the ho. It comes out. Don't go in. I'm gonna say this much. I don't like it doesn't feel good from the back like to me at all like it doesn't like okay I don't mind like a thumb or like you know what I mean like if it's like a thumb or like a finger okay whatever even then it, it hurts but like eating ass though is so good I like, don't, don't no not me it's oh, okay. getting my ass ate but See, not don't don't insert but I don't know it. it depends if 
if I'm already getting head and you just move up, move to the butt, okay. But if you starting off trying to just you automatically start off. take my pants off and lay down and you eating my booty off the bat, That's I don't like that. Like, because it just really give sloppy, nasty. It give that. It give girl, like you want to suck this dude. <laughs> no, girl. I be, I don't be understanding no. how people think that's so nasty when you, uh, bro. We have periods and niggas be like in a mug and eat us out. And periods are nasty. That's yeah. literal. Wait, like, you're, you're talking about people want to eat you out on your period. No, no I'm, I'm talking, talking about, about I'm talking about guys don't like God. eating ass because they're like, oh, ah, 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 ah. What, ah, ah. what are you doing? No, I just don't want them to come over here at oh. all because these squirrels. Hey, Sean, let me get some of your nuts. They be so, these ones are not scared at all. They will literally come and sit right here and be in a video with us. Let me get some of your nuts. Oh, yeah, these look, are wild look, squirrels. looking like he want to fight already. Don't come back over here. No, yeah. but what was I saying? I feel like guys would be like, oh, no, I'll never eat ass because girls take shit, shits out of their ass. I'm like, okay, but you eat pussy and, and we get periods. But niggas is just stupid regardless. But I'm just like, don't what's the like difference? Like, it's nasty either way. Like, so what you mean you don't want to eat my ass? <laughs> Bro, and it's like nobody wanna suck your pee and pee. Like on some G stuff, like that's so nasty. Uh, yes. Wait a minute. Like girl, you gotta be in the, no, you. you gotta be in the mood for it. Like you gotta be in the mood for it. But it's just like it's, it's, facts. Let's go get you a popsicle right now. Stop. Put your, put your eyes back down. Put your eyes back down. No, we not talking about that one right now. We talking about an actual popsicle. Calm down. No, but like uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, but it's yeah, all Yeah, we might have to cut this short because she's starting to get a little happy <laughs> on my right side right now. Um, all right, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you follow these beautiful ladies. And y'all make sure y'all subscribe to their YouTube channel, which will all be linked down in the description box below. I love every single last one of y'all. Y'all make sure y'all talk to y'all parents about birds and the bees because I'm not going to get all that talk. Oh my god. <laughs> no. We did just say We literally just told y'all something and I'm like, I'm so sorry for y'all that had to hear that. But oh, I'm sorry. Liz, you're, you don't. My mom watches this. See, so y'all say hey to Mama K. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Ma. I'm so fucking sorry. Um, alright guys. Can you just leave it out the whole